Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here, back with another TV show reaction. And today, we're going to be continuing iCarly with part two of season one, all right? I'm excited for this. The first three episodes were pretty great, and I'm actually glad that I'm checking this out. So I do want to reiterate, because I saw some of you commenting it in the video. Um, I did put a disclaimer at the beginning of that video, but hey, not everybody watches the intros. Please refrain from talking about Jeanette McCurdy's book. I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of the first video, but the whole reason why I'm watching this to begin with is because I want to get an understanding of the show before I read her book, because I want to read her book. I can't, I can't read something and then have no context to it. Like I want to, I'm not watching the show to intentionally look for bad things to find, but I am watching it so that I could get a wider scope of what went down and stuff like that because I like to do the research and everything. Not that I don't believe her, because I do. I believe everything that she says. I've watched her interviews, I've done all that stuff. Like, I get it. But, I want to enjoy this show for what it is, and not for what it's portrayed as after. You see what I'm saying? So if you guys could refrain from commenting about her book while I'm doing this journey, that would be greatly appreciated, okay? So, if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to iCarly on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue iCarly. That's not your locker. Then explain this. <laughs> I traded with Arthur Gradstein. Why would Arthur want your locker in between those two big sweaty wrestlers who fight all the time? He didn't. And made Freddy take mine. Oh my god. I'm telling you, this is an illegal move. <laughs> yeah? But that's different from this. Seriously. That's the same thing, dipwad. Literally, it is, though. Oh, God. Freddy, get out of there. Seriously, you guys. You're crushing my sack lunch. This violates so many rules. Seriously? I wish I could say that wrestlers were not this dumb in my high school. But I can't say that. Look what they did to my pudding cup! <laughs> Give me your hand. Carly, what? Jake Crandall and Stephanie Jeffers broke up! They broke up! <laughs> okay, who is that? So we're all gonna lose our minds just because one of us has a tiny chance to date Jake Crandall? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh my god, that's that killing my ears, too. Shattered my eardrum. Yeah. In five, four, three... Oh God! Is that him? Yes, yes, I know him. That guy does not look like he's in middle school, or is this high school? Okay. He still doesn't look like he's in high school. Crazy about a hot guy like Jake Randall, but but oh my God, he's so hot! I want to bake cookies on him. I'd eat those cookies. I don't know how I feel about that statement. A guy like Jake Crandall? What if he says hi back? Then what do I say? Say, then you say hi. Sorry, I hit you in the head with an apple. Why would I ask? Oh, oh my God, <laughs> Sam! Carly did he, it. Can't, he can't do that. I think you accidentally threw this at my head. Yeah. <laughs> Apples can be slippery. <laughs> Stupid Fuji. <laughs> <laughs> You're Carly Shay, right? Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> How do you know my name? From your web show, I Carly. You've seen it? Yeah, you're really good. It's weird, I kind of feel like I'm talking to a celebrity. <laughs> That's weird, because I kind of feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> oh my god. I meant throwing up in the good way. <laughs> I didn't know that was there was a good right. way. So, we should hang out sometime. <laughs> Something wrong? No, I just swallowed my gum. <laughs> I'll see you around. Yes, you will. <laughs> What did he say? Tell me everything. He said we should hang out sometime. <laughs> Give us more homework. More homework and more discipline. Yes. It's <laughs> very important. I think it's a priority in school. God. The amount of screaming that's already happening in this episode, and I my ears are dying. Well, yeah. You know, if I look like this. <laughs> it's like your twins. So why no head? That goes on later. Okay. You ready to splat a paint? 
Okay. On three. One. I can't wait. <laughs> like this? Yes. You are the splatter master. <laughs> Try closing your eyes. I love Spencer so much. He's Damn awesome. Music. Kate doesn't ask questions. <laughs> That's true. I got it. Okay. Oh, hi, Jake. <gasps> Jake! Hey, I was in the neighborhood. <laughs> Listen, if this is a... Oh my god. I have to make myself attractive! Oh, Freddy. Oh, Freddy. Those are really thick shoes. I've just noticed this. How's it going? Why are you here? Okay. Okay. No! You've seen dude. It. Then why don't you just scurry on out of here? Hey, sorry about that. That was quick. It's okay, Carly. I got the situation under control. Sky in. I mean, You're the best. Carly's just such a. <laughs> yeah. Just keep kissing those frogs, Carly. This prince can wait. Oh my god. That was. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, look, I found hot pink and orphan blue. Oh my god. The saddest of all blues. <laughs> Uh, Spencer, this is my friend Jake. Jake, this is my brother Spencer. Uh, how's it going? Jake oh, from State Farm. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, don't. <laughs> but remember, I could pop up there at any moment, like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> uh, up here. Let me get you a wrap. <laughs> and as far away from him as possible. And the third floor. Nice. It's weird. This room looks so much bigger on the internet. Yeah, the internet can distort room size. Trust me. This controls all the sound effects, right? That's it. Oh, do it. You know you want to. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, what was the name of that song? Was it, uh, Break Lights by Cuttlefish? <laughs> Impressive. I didn't think anybody knew that song. I do. That was one of the first songs that I Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you play guitar? And sing a little. Really? Because Sam and I have been talking about maybe having live music on the show. I can Would see where this is going already. Yep. Here we go. Wait, let's check and make sure your audience is into it. Oh, looks like I'm singing on iCarly. <laughs> uh, it fell. Good job. I like it better on the floor. <laughs> Oh my god! What is he doing? Nah, Carly's upstairs getting... Yeah, exactly. What's happening here? The show. Oh, is he making the head for the thing? What are you doing? A cast of my head to put on top of my body sculpture! Of course you are. <laughs> what are the tubes for? Well, since I'm gonna be in here for 12 hours while the plaster dries... This tube is for breathing, and this tube is for food and drink. Wait, the oh, plaster needs to dry for 12 hours? Why do you have to now? keep that on your head Wait, for that long? Before you go, would you mind pouring some coffee down my drink hole? That's hot. Sure. That's hot. No. Oh, my God. They both are the same. You know what? I'm gonna. I think I'm learning to just stop questioning whenever Spencer does anything at this point already. Every girl in the school thinks you're hot, and now you're a musician too. I guess. Can you fly? <laughs> Actually, my uncle's a pilot, and he's been giving me flying lessons. Oh, forget it! Do you know how many kids came up to me at school today, freaking out that Jake's gonna play on the show? I know it's gonna be huge. Why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen with this? What? Would you have ever believed that Jake Crandall could be in love with you? So, what time does the show start? In about a half hour. But listen, since we've never done live music on the show before, Freddie wants to do a sound check. So, you mind running through a verse? Let's go for it. <laughs> Why do I feel like he doesn't know how to play? This is and he's just with playing it around. Song. Okay. Not hearing anything bad You're yet. So beautiful, I need the world to see. 
Wow. Make the time that you need. I'm speechless. No. <laughs> Freddy. <laughs> I can't wait till we go live. <laughs> Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Freddy's enjoying it. So, Freddy, did you get a good sound level, or do you want me to sing another oh, verse? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, and we go live in about 20 minutes. So, maybe you should go downstairs and get changed. Well, I think we know the results of the sound check. Did it sound horrible? Check. <laughs> the one time they agree on something. Did you not hear him? Because it was pretty funny. We're going to tell him he can't sing on the show because he sounds like a pile of poo. <laughs> I can't just tell him he's too pooish to sing on our show. Carly, yeah, you can. I like him, and I think he kind of likes me. The elevator. Right. Well, oh, we get, get him the stuck. Shaft. No. <laughs> Freddy. He's going to push the hottest guy in Seattle down an elevator shaft. <laughs> you said the elevator. I meant when he gets in the elevator to come up here, we kill the power so he can't get out. He'll think it's an accident. I won't have to tell him he's a lame singer, and nobody's feelings get hurt. Can't we lock him in the elevator and hurt his feelings? <laughs> Yo, Jake. The show starts in 15 minutes. Yeah, you better get on up there. Don't take the stairs. You don't want to get all sweaty in your fancy singing shirt. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. Right. I'll take the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Enjoy yeah. elevating. You guys aren't coming? Uh, we'll be up in a few minutes. Uh, after we... Uh, uh, blow our noses. <laughs> yeah. Which one's for the elevator? The red one. Oh, God. There. Hey, what happened? Uh, <laughs> I think the elevator got stuck again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Spencer. <laughs> He's down. Hello? <laughs> okay, that cast looked like it was pretty solid at that point. He could have taken that off. Okay, when it gets to the part where Jake was supposed to sing, we'll just improvise and talk about something funny. Like Freddy's haircut. I heard that. You were supposed to. Hey! I got the door off! What are you, Superman? How did you do this? Awesome. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we thought you'd oh, be no. stuck in there for a while. <laughs> Me too. But I found this little emergency trap door at the top of the elevator. Climbed up, squeezed myself through it, and here I am. <laughs> so now you can be on the show. Yeah, good thing. I don't want to disappoint my grandmother. Your grandmother? Oh, yeah. no. She's never heard me sing before. So oh, no. When I told her I was going to be on your show, she went out and bought her very first computer. Aww. Oh, my God. She's gonna, he's going to kill her. Okay. Uh, we're going to go check the lighting in the hallway. <laughs> Who cares about the lighting in the... <laughs> Freddy, read the room. Grab me one foot. Affiliate in front of the whole world. Too bad we don't know a computer geek that'll do anything you ask. <laughs> no. Can you fix no. his voice or not? He's like, nope. Yes, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna help turn Mr. Awesome into Mr. Totally Awesome. If I do, will you kiss me? No. Then no. Oh, you can't on. persuade somebody cool. like that. <laughs> No. no. Jake, no. Did he really think that that was appropriate to do? Like, you, you can't you can't persuade somebody to do something like that. What we are going to do is our first ever live music performance on iCarly. Yeah, we are. So sit back, keep your hands off that mouse or trackpad, and get excited for our special guest, Jake Randall. <laughs> yeah. This is a song called Whatever My Love, and I'd like to dedicate this to my grandmother. Oh, God. Keep on hopping, Grandma. <laughs> Oh no, this is gonna be, ready, how's this gonna to go? Sing. You're so beautiful, I need the world to see. I don't get to hear the good version, do I? You're my miracle, Sam's face says it all. <laughs> and never mind the things really? I've done. You make me feel like I'm <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no, not the fish. Oh. Give me that nose. Really? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Granny's fallen and she can't get up. Get her life alert now. Uh oh. Oh. That's Jason's girlfriend. Why is he kissing his ex girlfriend? You don't kiss your ex girlfriend. That's the whole point of the ex. I'm gonna go talk to him. You want backup? I'm good. You want backup? What were you gonna do, Sam? <laughs> you gonna fight him? <laughs> so awesome. Okay. Thank you. Go away. <laughs> Bye. Nice. I know. I've they thought they were the main morning. character. Yeah. You and Stephanie. Oh. You saw that? Yeah. Listen, I really thought we'd broken up for good. But she saw me sing on your web show. And then she called to tell me how great she thought I was. Uh. And yeah, but what happens when you sing in person? <laughs> Freddie and I are dating. Come on, I saw you kiss his nose. <laughs> We're not dating. Let's all get to class. I'll see you around. Who is that teacher? But it was just a nose kiss. Five, four, three, two. Hey, welcome to iCarly. You know who we are. You don't know? Okay, then. I'm Carly. I'm Sam. Now, now you know. <laughs> so guess what? We've been watching some action movies. We love watching Have you? fight. The actors just swing and miss, but they play a sound effect. Like this. Oh my god. Look like I punched her, right? Oh my god. Are you okay? I... I think so. Because they also use fake blood. <laughs> Last week, one of our viewers submitted an awesome video clip to us right here at iCarly.com. It's from Carrie Mackler of Providence, Rhode Island. She's a singer. This girl can wail. Freddy, play Carrie's video clip. Playback. This is one of my mom's really good glasses. Okay, now watch. No, not you about to shatter the thing. Yeah! Nice! Did you see that? Why can't you sing that note next to our math teacher's head? That's to my brother Spencer. An amazing artist. Is gonna show you his latest sculpture. His coolest one ever. So hit the applause button and say hello to my big brother Spencer. <laughs> about your latest masterpiece. Okay, so the other night I'm watching this TV show about building houses, right? And this one guy asked this other guy which he likes better, a nail gun or a hammer? And the guy goes, personally, I'm a fan of hammers. And when he said that... Oh my God. A fan of hammers. Sam, okay. Thank and, you. and how is that gonna... I understand your excitement. <laughs> How is that going to actually cool actually you works. off? Uh, that's going really fast. Uh, is it supposed to do that? Uh, no, not, not really, no. Hit the floor! Spencer, turn it off! It needs to be adjusted. You almost killed her! Side note, I think my dog finally decided to join us for the party. So, yeah. Spencer literally almost killed them. Don't open the door. Happens to be, yeah. Don't. <laughs> Granddad, Who's that? Spencer. Oh. Uh, Granddad. Carly. Uh, what a man can't drive ninety minutes to surprise his favorite grandkids, huh? <laughs> ninety your minutes. Just sleeps and burps. Because <laughs> he's related to you. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. And I think you met Sam last time you were here. Yes, she borrowed ten dollars from me and then ate my sandwich. <laughs> yes. Nice to see you again. Uh, got a little present for you. Huh? Really? Ooh, a gift card for Groovy Smoothies. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, uh, go have fun. I'll be in town in a few days. Okay. Smoothie! Yeah, yeah I feel like he's here about the hammer place? thing. Sure. If I know anything about grandparents, that's definitely what he's doing. Strawberry splat. Are you out of your mind? I should have got the strawberry splat. <laughs> I am talking about your little stunt on Carly's webcast. Yep. Oh, that's what he's here hammers. for. You nearly took Carly's head off. A responsible guardian tells a 13-year-old girl she could just come home whenever. She's just across the street. 
and she's with two friends, and she has her cell phone with her at all times. You know, I was not happy when you dropped out of law school to become an artist. Wow, really? You could have been a fantastic yeah. lawyer. I didn't want to be a lawyer. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm rocking out. You could have been a brilliant lawyer. That's all I'm trying oh, to say. But then you start making these weird sculptures, and now, and now you're putting Carly at risk. So maybe it's for the best if, if Carly comes to live with me. Oh. Oh, you don't think I'm fun, huh? <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> I'll be at the Parker Nichols Hotel, two blocks over. I love you, Spencer, but Carly needs a responsible adult authority figure. Now, you can't just take her, though. Like, you can't do that. Legally, you can't do that. <laughs> Spencer. No, wait. 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 Let's talk about that for a second, okay? Okay. Especially when her dad's in the military. If he entrusted Spencer to be the guardian legally of Carly, the grandfather can't just come in and do that. Like, he would have had to talk to the father first. Because, for those of you that don't know, or that you're not in the military, or, have a, or don't have family in the military... It's a very big paperwork scheme. I know it's a TV show, but in real life, this wouldn't happen. Because, like, paperwork-wise, he can't do that. that. That's all I wanted to say. So, that's where we're at with that. Hey, Spence. I'm back with one large blueberry banana blitz. Where have you been? At the Groovy Smoothie. For a half hour? Smoothies are thick. You can only suck them down so fast. No excuses. <laughs> She's only gone 30 minutes. Yeah, clearly I have a problem. I'll check into Smoothies Anonymous tomorrow. So always try your best and eat your vegetables. Okay, are you in some kind of new medication I should know about? <laughs> I can't do this. Granddad told me he doesn't think I'm responsible enough to take care of you. That's insane. He thinks you'd be better off living with him in Yakima. Yakima? <laughs> I ain't going to Yakima. Where is Yakima? Like, is this a real city? Do that? Uh, don't worry too much about this yet. Just go do your homework or something. Okay. I mean, you go do your homework right now, young lady. <laughs> yes, sir. And just say no. Always. And stay in school. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> After granddad's convinced that Spencer's a responsible adult. Yeah, good luck with that. Could you keep your hands off my equipment over there? I could, but I don't think I will. <laughs> oh my god. What? That suit doesn't even fit you. Isn't it kind of small on you? Yeah, because I only wore it once in the 10th grade for a school play. What role oh my you god. Man in suit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like garbage. You're butt shaped like a ham. Oh my god. Hey, no fighting tonight. You figure out how to tie your tie and I'll go downstairs and stall granddad. Okay. Yeah, I'd be running from Sam after you said that one because that was offensive. Get out. Granddad. Surprise! Oh god. Wow, an I Heart Yakima t shirt. For you. Yay. Why'd you get me this? Carly, come, sit. I got in touch with your dad last night. Oh, man. oh, now he talked to the dad. I told him I was worried about you, you know, living here with Spencer. And what'd he say? He thinks Spencer's very responsible. Exactly. He, he knows what he's talking about. Well, what does he know? He's in the <laughs> Navy on a submarine three miles underwater. He's probably all dizzy. Oh, he's underwater? Oh, that's even worse. Carly, you're coming to live with me in Yakima. No. Spencer needs to learn to take care of himself before he can take care of a child. I'm not a child. He's I'm literally taking insult. care of both of them now. Sweetheart. Spencer's very responsible and very grown up. Hey, you guys. I was wondering. Ah! Ah! Spencer. Please don't make me move to Yakima. Please don't make her move to Yakima. Yakima's a great town. No great town can be named Yakima. It sounds like someone throwing up. <laughs> I wore this monkey suit for nothing hey dude that tie looks pretty wicked i won't tell you stupid tie literally <laughs> you're wrong about him look i love spence then let me keep living here remember the hammer i ducked what if you hadn't but i did something see? could happen to her at yakima too for you no what about school 
You can transfer to Yakima Junior High. Gross! <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. My mind's made up. <laughs> Call for help. How did you even get that happen? Like, how did that happen? <laughs> Ooh, can I have this? I'm moving, I'm not dying. <laughs> but don't you want me to have something to remember you by? Like, 9,000 of your favorite songs? Give it. I'm just trying to cheer you up. You can't <laughs> cheer me up. Yakimaniac. You're a yakim annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about our show? I don't see how we're gonna do it, Carly, anymore. Yeah, I think this is before <laughs> Skype even happened. Thing is so lame. What if we think of a way for your granddad to see that Spencer's a good guardian? Yeah. How? I could pretend to do something really terrible. Right, something that'll get Spencer really upset with you. Yeah, then he'll freak out and yell at me right in front of Grand. What bad thing are you gonna do? I don't know, let's think of something. I enjoy this assignment. What in the world are they gonna have this girl do? I thought you weren't coming to get Carly till later. She called and asked me to come here for dinner. Oh, did she? Yes. Maybe she's handling this whole thing more maturely than you are. Maybe she is. <laughs> Mr. Chicken should go pack his bags and live with you in Yakima. <laughs> you stop trying you to just fight because I don't want to be a lawyer I like love you. you, Spencer. You're upsetting but I like Carly, Carly too. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Even Spencer's like, what the hell? Carly, what have you done? Well, I figured since I'm going to a new school, it's a perfect time to, you know, reinvent myself. Yeah, you got the. Crazy hair and the piercings. <laughs> so in your face, you know? Like, boo! Do you approve of this? Give how us can a you sec. possibly, how can you think she looks good like that? I don't. Then why did you tell her she's a little teenager? But look, this is just a phase. And what's her next phase? Stealing cars? Swimming with hobos? I don't think, I don't think... Really swimming. No, literally, I don't it's think that's a thing. That you're unfit to take care of my granddaughter. She's my little sister. Uh, guys? What? Fire! Don't you shall do something! <laughs> oh my god, not the cookbook! Why are you using a broom? Do you not have a fire extinguisher? Please send help right away! Spencer, oh my god. Oh god, it's Lubert. Freddie texted me saying you guys had a fire. Nice rods and rings. If you like them, take them. I already told my granddad and Spencer they were fake. Why? Because Spencer thought I looked good, then his chicken burst into flames, and now I'm moving to Yakima. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So this fire is your fault. Oh Spencer, my god. Please. Oh, that's because Freddy's mom? I gotta stop right in the middle of rubbing anti tick lotion on Freddy. <laughs> mom, I don't have ticks. They hide in your leg hair. I was making dinner and it caught on what fire. What the? Well, you're lucky no one got hurt. Why don't you shut up? You got the Karen haircut too right now. <laughs> you were right. Okay? I am irresponsible. Carly should go live with you. Spencer? Well, I'm glad you see it my way, Spence. How's the damage? Nothing too bad. Oh my god. This is some good chicken stir fry. Bro, it's burned. I can't believe she can't be actually moving. There's no way. Look, this is the beginning of the show. Kiddo, but once you smell that yakima air, you'll feel better. Yes, I don't think the sweet that's smell of yakima. I don't think that's a thing. I listed all of her allergies, the number for poison control. She has allergies? Yes. These are Carly's favorite foods, drinks, soups, and chowders. Aren't soups and chowders the same thing? Yeah, no. There's a distinction. Yeah. Oh, and these are the vitamins she needs to take every day. I only give her the ones shaped like dinosaurs. Why? Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are, are cool. cool. Yeah. Oh, she's really into drinking coffee. Me and Spencer are like the same yeah, thing. I'm telling her. What? Nothing. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah. Oh, thanks. That's... Actually, it's I wouldn't have even thought to keep all that. Like I would have had this it mentally. It. This is it. Who's gonna take the blame when I put live lobsters in the trunk of Miss Briggs's car? So don't do anything. Will you at least try to stay out of trouble? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess.
Oh my god. Why did he let go of my leg? <laughs> I got him. Sorry. Lost my cool for a sec there. You can't lose what you never had. Oh god. Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Spencer? We already did before you came up. Okay then. Will you guys come down to the lobby with me? Sure. Oh. You're not even gonna have Spencer go down there? What? Wait! <laughs> it was the the John Belushi oh, from Animal House turn like that. <laughs> okay, the car's right out front. Oh, young man, would you mind getting the rest Carly, of the wait. Package? What does he have? I forgot this. What's an inhaler? That? My asthma inhaler? You never know. Yeah, but that Why medication would have been expired. In case you needed it. I'm not gonna need it. Take it. Maybe that'll change his mind. Really important stuff that he remembered. Nah, I'm not gonna need this. Look, as Miss Trick, I'm not gonna need this with you. There it is. Are you really What is with the leg? Would someone remove this young man from my trousers? I still think you're a bit of a nut bar. Because <laughs> I do this. <laughs> Don't do that. You do it like this. <laughs> Lubert, oh my god. That was pretty good. The audio quality is just a little off, but other than that, it was pretty good. Before this show, okay. Before this episode even starts, I know who Neville is. If you guys remember from Gravity Falls reactions, when I said Gideon was like a Neville, okay? I know who Neville is. <laughs> I've seen clips of this freaky guy. I'm putting that out there now, so nobody thinks that I've watched this show before. Because I've seen clips of him, and I know how creepy he is, okay? So, <laughs> let's just put that out there now. And if this is the beginning of Neville, oh god. I'm, I'm actually scared. Hey, watch iCarly this weekend. It's gonna be hot. iCarly.com <laughs> Hey, Wesley. Watch iCarly this weekend. It's gonna be a great show. <laughs> okay, see ya! <laughs> Hey, yeah, that was a lot. iCarly.com. <laughs> Thanks. You've heard of our web show, right? Sure. I've seen every episode. <laughs> oh my god. Liar? Yes, please. <laughs> you keep that. <laughs> Your dice. <laughs> oh my god. Called last week? Last week, the week before that. Why are we talking weeks? That lump's been blowing his nose nonstop since first grade. Oh my god. Hey, Tasha. Um, if your web show is worth checking out, I'd have read about it on Nevelocity.com. Hey, just because our show isn't reviewed on Nevelocity doesn't mean it's not cool. Actually, it does. Neville writes about everything that's cool on the web, and since he's never written anything about iCarly, I guess your web show's lame. She still kept the poster. I want to do bad things to that chick. Oh no. You should. I will. No, no, doing? no. What are you doing? I didn't oh my god. Yeah, that looked like that hurt. Hey, kiddo. I'm home. Oh, I got bags. Okay, I can see that. Butter. 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 Something oh, tells me sculpture. Butter. Or project, because he's an artist. Clearly. <laughs> No, I also got this thingy that makes the water in your toilet turn blue. Awesome. Great. 
I got hired to create a big sculpture. Made of butter. Yeah. <laughs> For the wedding convention. See? It's Toasty the Baker. <laughs> He's the mascot. And they hired me to make a giant sculpture of him out of butter. Wait. Sweet like corn syrup. High fructose. The highest. <laughs> OK. So what are we doing for dinner? What's that little tween belly hungry for? Whatever. First, just let me finish this email. This guy Neville, who runs a big website. Nevelocity. Yeah, I'm trying to oh, get him to check you out know about the podcast and maybe write a review of it. Oh, that'd be killer! Everybody reads Nevelocity. No kidding. Please write back, Carl. There. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, if me and my oldest sister, she's like 12, if, if we lived together, this would be us, I swear. Okay, I'm Carly. I'm Sam. And we like to draw families on our toes. Observe. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really into that. No. Nope. New York. He's a crump dancer. And he does it covered in peanut butter. Crump it up, peanut boy. This is for you. Ew. Why? Unbelievable. What yeah, why is that a thing? And does he have a girlfriend covered in jelly? Important questions. Does his family dress like bread? What the heck? <laughs> I ordered Chinese food. <laughs> There's no wrong time to eat an egg roll. Ah. Hi, food delivery guy. What's your name? Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> this guy looks you petrified. You, Where are you from? Wisconsin. <laughs> Are you in college? No. Okay. Uh, oh, what's the weirdest thing that's ever happened to you while you were delivering food? I don't know. This guy is not interesting at all. Bye. Chuck, you're very boring. <laughs> and that means it's time for this. Random dancing. <laughs> oh my god, don't drop the food. <laughs> Our most important webcast ever, and you bring on a food delivery guy who was born without a personality. The show is still awesome. Hey, you guys got an email from Neville Papperman. <gasps> Neville Lawson. Oh, God, here we go. He says he loved our web show, and he wants to interview me. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Oh, it's Carly is on its way, baby. I know, I can't believe this. It is Hey, your toilet water's blue. Why'd you put your hands in the toilet water? Now he gets a personality. <laughs> Who's the dude playing in our toilet? <laughs> you know it's weird when Spencer's gotta ask questions about it. Okay, that is impressive. That is very impressive. If they don't give this guy thousands of dollars to do this, I don't know what will. Ready to drive me to Neville's for my interview? Yep. Let's hit it. Oh no. <laughs> I, I got him though. Boy, go wash your hands. <laughs> like, how is he gonna drive? I really think you should wait in the car. There's a piece of no butter way. on his elbow. I don't know this Neville guy. What if he's a weirdo? Oh. oh. I got butter on my elbow. Get it with your finger. It's, what? Mm -hmm. It's not possible. <laughs> Hi. You must be Carly. Please come in. He's going to leave the butter on his elbow? That's bothering me. <laughs> Neville is so excited to meet you. He has been talking about your web show all week. He just loves it. Well, I'm a big fan of his website. You might be mistaken. Yep, here's the little demon now. Carly Shay. Live and in uh, person. It is so exciting to meet you. I'm Neville Papperman. 
You're Neville? You're just a little kid. He's so cute. I'm not cute. Yeah, you are. I, I can tell because I want to mess up your hair. <laughs> Who's cute? Who's Spencer, cute? stop. Stop doing Who what you're doing. Gets five million page views. You do. Stop it. Please sit. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Uh, do you know that trillions of germs are living on your hand skin right now? Really? That's wow. Sure. I think my readers will be very interested to learn more about you. What type of shampoo do you use? Why is that something that you should? Oh. Kiwi salon with jasmine. You have an amazing nose. <laughs> wow. Yes. Just wow. You must love flowers. Oh, I hate flowers. Bugs sit upon them and make poo. Okay. <laughs> Why does he talk like this? So I must have seen a different, like, thing from him because I don't remember this being it at all. Like, I don't remember this being the clip that I saw of him. Had to be from a different episode or something. Why are you in her house? <laughs> yeah? Sam, where are you? Your house, watching TV. Well, you're not going to believe my house. How'd you get in? I know where you and Spencer had the key. First of all, Neville's not a man. He's a kid. What? How old? Like 11. And he's creepy. Be nice to him. You know how important this review is for our show? Millions of people read his site. Man, why is it so cold in here? Don't do it. Oh, no. Sam. No. Why 80, first of all? Oh, no. He worked so hard on this. and some of my mother's homemade toppinati. Oh my god, that's awesome! Isn't it? Sounds good, actually. Please, sit. <laughs> Do you think fireplaces are romantic? This kid is weird. Like, really weird. <laughs> Do you like music? <laughs> What the hell is going on? Would you like to dance? I don't want to sound rude, but I really didn't come here to dance. Could you just interview me about the wet Neville? Yeah, I no. A kiss upon your cheek. And now another kiss I seek. Seek some top and on. <laughs> oh god. You shouldn't have done that, Carly Shay. You'll rue <laughs> this day. You'll rue it. <laughs> you got a little <laughs> Spencer Tell us what happened Okay, I got there, Neville sat next to me He sniffed my hair, he showed me an x-ray of his brain He tried to make me dance And then he kissed me Whoa, he kissed you? <laughs> Jerk Come show my lips exactly what he did No You just keep making out with your stuffed animals <laughs> Tell us what happened after he kissed you I pushed Toppinod in his face, and then he got all furious and said I'd rue the day. What is Toppinod? A spread made of olives, garlic, and capers? Yeah, what does rue mean? No one knows. Probably means regret. Right here. Rue. A mixture of fat and flour used to make sauces and soups. <laughs> what? Neville called you a fat flour? Wrong thing. Curse Wrong thing. Rue. To regret. To yep, wish what did I just say? Uh-oh. You know what this means. Of course. He's going to make me regret shoving Toppinod in his face by trashing iCarly on his stupid website. Peter Baker. Good God! Oh, I was going to ask about that. <laughs> oh, no. Gross, it's like a giant baby threw up. <laughs> Need a mop and a bucket and 28 more pounds of butter! Oh, my God. This is Benson. Freddie, your mom's here. I came over because I heard screaming. Freddie, are you all right? Girl. Me, I am not allergic to fruit. Well, what if you were? He'd probably give you an orange and then your face would puff up. Lady. I would wow. love that. Look, I gave him no fruit. Now, please, I'm out of butter. False. I saw you come home yesterday carrying grocery bags filled with butter. You spied on Freddie, I want you to take a bubble bath tonight. Spencer! Oh, my God. I didn't give him any fruit. <laughs> cool mom. 
<laughs> I would lose my mind if that was my mom. Velocity.com. This is gonna be bad. Maybe not. He said I'd rue the day, and I have a feeling the ruing's about to begin. Well. Get ready to rue. Oh no. Review? Read it. I Carly, or as it should be called, I boring. You see? Boring? Keep going, let's hear it. This webcast stars Carly Shay, an unappealing 13-year-old girl. Wow. My advice? If you're trying to decide between watching iCarly and going to prison, choose prison. Oh my god. You'll have more fun in jail than you ever will at iCarly.lane. That's so unfair. At least you didn't call you a fat flower. <laughs> well, there's that. And he only wrote that mean stuff because I didn't want to be his little girlfriend. Yeah. Let's make him regret writing that review. Oh, he's not just going to regret it. He's going to rue it. <laughs> Soon you'll be back and butter than ever. Okay. Nope. Thank God no one heard that. Yeah. I did, though. I'm coming! Oh, he's here. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm coming in now. Are you gonna ask to come in? Carly invited me here. I know. She said she wants to apologize to me for her obnoxious behavior. What is that? Oh, I'm an artist. I'm making a sculpture out of butter. <laughs> Your work disgusts me. <laughs> Neville's a stupid name. <laughs> Carly. Oh my God. Not the sick kid. Jeremy, or as we like to call him, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess. Ew. I can't stand germs. Then you better tell the truth. Admit that you like iCarly and that your review is a lie. Let go of me. Tell the truth, Neville. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Stop it, sicko. Let go of me. No way. <laughs> They're paying me to do this. How much? Five bucks. I'll give you ten to release me. Deal. That was easy. You feel it? Why does this kid even run weird? <laughs> he outsmarted me. I could see that. He outsmarted all of us. So what are we gonna do now? I don't know. How do you take down a brilliant, powerful 11-year-old boy? You tell his mom. Oh, tell me that's what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, she's bad. Haberman, did you write a bad review of this girl's web show just because you were angry with her? Neville? Oh, okay, yes, but only because she rubbed my face with top and eyes. Because you kissed me in a surprise attack. <laughs> you told me you thought girls were yucky. That was last year. You're going through changes. Oh, God. I don't need you to know this. You just go to your room. <laughs> top and eye? Oh, and those little crackers. Yes. That mom gets it. What is going on here? That's impressive. <laughs> Somebody forgot the words. <laughs> All right. So that was iCarly season one, part two. Gotta say <laughs> that was pretty. Those three were pretty great. I will say the first one. I had a feeling something was going to happen. I didn't know he couldn't sing, but I had a feeling something was going to happen. The second one was actually kind of emotional because I was like, are they really going to get rid of Carly already at the beginning of the show? Like, I feel like they put that episode a little too, a little too forward. Like they should have put it in the back, like towards the end of the season. You know what I mean? It would have made more sense to go there because um, it would have given us more time to, you know, fall in love with the characters and stuff like that and then bring us to a dramatic like dynamic but then we had neville the number one nemesis of the show that i'm assuming is the number one nemesis of the show so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to iCarly on my patreon go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video okay thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you all next time remember everybody stay totally terrific bye